Question 5. Which shape is correctly predicted by the Wedenshaw electron pair repulsion theory? First, we need to refer to the table, see what they want. Uh, we need to know how many bonding pair and how many lone pairs in there. So for A, there are two bonding pair and two lone pair, means a uh, four electron charge crowd. Uh, so four electron charge crowd, uh, it can it can be a few uh, shape or geometry. Um, for these uh, two uh, bonding pair and two lone pair, uh, it's supposed to be non-linear. Uh, means V shaped. So nonlinear is the new terms, is the terms that use in the latest syllabus. Um, so when they when there are two lone pair and two bonding pair, uh, the normal covalent bonds here, this pair of electrons we call bonding pair. So the lone pair is uh, on this oxygen. So two lone pair, two bonding pair. Um, so because uh, the lone pair uh, we assume is like invisible. So we will just see the atoms here. So it's actually V-shaped, you see, V-shaped. Or non-linear, uh, we say nowadays. Um, so therefore, uh, this answer A is wrong. The shape is actually non-linear. So it's not this one. Okay. It should be non-linear. So for the B, again, uh, it's a two bonding pair, two lone pair. Uh, so it's uh, supposed to be non-linear. It's not tetrahedral. Uh, tetrahedral, it must be something like this. It must have four bonding pair. So four bonding pair means like methane. Uh, so it has one, two, three, four bonding pair. No lone pair. So this pair of electrons that will repel each other, maximum angle is 109.5 degree. Uh, so this one is a tetrahedral. Uh, so uh, for B, therefore, it's not the answer. Uh, for C, uh, it has three bonding pair and one lone pair. Uh, three bonding pair uh, and one lone pair is uh, the uh, the best example uh, for you all is uh, ammonia. Um, so one lone pair on nitrogen and these three bonding pair. One, two, three bonding pair. So lone pair, as again, we assume are invisible. So uh, only see this atom. So it's kind of like a pyramid and the trigonal base. So therefore, uh, this is a trigonal pyramidal. Uh, so the shape is pyramidal. Okay, so the, uh, the better answer is actually trigonal pyramidal. Okay, so therefore, uh, we know that C is the answer. Uh, it's a pyramidal. Okay, it's correct. Because uh, when there are three bonding pair and one lone pair, it's a trigonal pyramidal. And of course, the bond angle uh, is 107. It's slightly smaller than the tetrahedral just now because the repulsion of the lone pair to the bonding pair is stronger. So uh, the bond angle is slightly smaller. Okay, For D, of course, not the answer because uh, I already told you three bonding pair and one lone pair uh, is uh, should be trigonal pyramidal, not planar. If it's trigonal planar, means it's something like this. yeah. Trigonal planar, uh, it just has three bonding pair. Uh, three bonding pair, the uh, example is uh, this uh, BF3. Uh, so boron with three bonding pair, one, two, three. So all these uh, pair of electrons, they will uh, have repulsion and the maximum angle is 120 degree. Okay, so therefore, D is not the answer. Confirm answer is C. That's all. Thank you.